Had a few people ask over the past week about the Wicking root pouch gardens, how they're going, and also wanting to know what's happened with the Wicking ginger bed down the back. So I thought I'd bring you folks along for a little bit of an update. So I thought we'd start off here at the back stairs. These root pouch gardens are going really well. Loads of strawberries on these small ones at the front here. So pretty chuffed with that. And this rabbit ear lettuce is going really well. Very pleased with the rabbit ear lettuce taste wise. It tastes a lot like the coral lettuce and the others we enjoy growing. So definitely will be another plant we grow again. Unfortunately, I sent the packet of seeds through the uh, washing machine. So I'm either gonna have to wait for some seed heads to form on these guys or maybe buy another packet. Uh, the other plants in there, the Celtus or Chinese lettuce is going well. Thank you, Chris. And up the back, the cucumber isn't doing too crash hot, but the Kaja melon has taken off now. And we also have a sugar beet and some snake beans down the base there. And this is supposed to be a pineapple strawberry, but it's not looking like any strawberry leaves I've seen. So I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt for now. And just a calendula in there. And the little red celery. Um, I think we're getting a little bit of a um, mite problem up in here as well. So I've got some um, oil, um, insecticidal oil I'm going to be spraying on these plants up here. Not all of them look to be hit. Um, there's a little bit of damage maybe on the lettuce, but I mean, the girls don't mind, we're still eating it. Uh, just down here with the black or the Pusa Asti um, carrots. I think pretty much all something's come in and been eating them. Uh, we've only got a few that have survived now. And I was a little bit concerned that maybe it was the mix here that's dry. But as you can see, I mean, not even half an inch or 12 millimetre down. Um, it's nice and moist, just wicking up from the, um, the tray there. So I don't think that's an issue at all. Um, oh, also too, RJ, your little violets are still blooming every now and then. Got a nice little flush of fresh greenery down the bottom there. The pumpkin. Uh, the pumpkin vine has taken off yet again and it appears that a few fruit have escaped the fruit flies. What we've found with the pumpkins is that if the fruit fly find the little female fruit and they blow them, the vine tends to drop them off as it did with a couple of the um, pumpkins that were growing on the vine over the top of Bianca's bay tree. I think I showed that in a clip or I might have cut it out actually. Um, the fruit fly blew them and the little pumpkins fell off. And down here we have another pumpkin forming that looks like it's going to stick and there's another one somewhere down in there as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think it's the longest growing pumpkin we've had. Maybe not the most productive, but we've definitely got a load of fruit off it. Be interesting to see how many we'll get if it's just going to be those three or maybe a couple of more. The bananas are going really well too. Uh, this one here, the Blue Java, has got three suckers that have come up in it. I've already got two suckers down the back that I've taken out. And the um, aloe vera has decided to set some root downs and it's slowly getting a little bit greener. Uh, here we have the, um, oh, I keep forgetting the name. Uh, it's the Malabar chestnut. That was given to us by Ray and it's just sitting down there in a little um, 3.8 litre root pouch or a one gallon root pouch and it's doing okay. This eggplant here in the end pouch isn't doing too crash hot. The leaves are starting to go a little bit pale compared with the others, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. Um, this one over the back is actually looking a little bit better uh, leaf wise, looking a little bit greener. Loads of flea beetle damage on the leaves though. Uh, down here we have another eggplant this one here has given us a nice amount of fruit and we've still got some more coming through. Uh, nice new growth as well and new flowers coming through all the time. I did notice a little grasshopper on there, but he looks, oh no, there he is. So they may be um, enjoying some of the leaves as well. The potatoes down in here do need to be filled up. I haven't topped up their pouches, but I haven't gone back and got any more potting mix either. Um, broad ripple yellow currant tomato. And these guys are a decent size, as you can see. So they'll be coming off for dinner tonight. And one of the strawberry pouches that was in there has died. So I just popped that little pouch with a broad ripple in there. And some of these strawberries have put on a nice little display of flowers and had some fruit set on them as well. Oh, the sweet potato over the back, it's um, slowly taking off. So hopefully it'll get up here. Um, I've actually swapped over the shade cloth on the hoop house. I was hoping to raise it up, but I just haven't had the time um, to get around to it. So 
that wire will probably just be connected on there and we'll let the um, sweet potato grow up there. Our mulberry finished, but we got loads and loads of fruit off of her, so really impressed with that. I've actually been eating them uh, for my breakfast. I've been getting half a cup of quick oats and just pouring a cup of hot water over the top. And then once they've um, soaked up all the water I've been putting in, probably about uh, around about a quarter to a third of a cup of mixed blueberries and mulberries that we've grown. And yeah, that's been my brunch, so to speak. Uh, just down here we have some of our Cambodian ginger that is shot. Thank you very much. So um, we had a lovely lady and family come around and drop that off to us. And some of that will be split up and go into the ginger uh, wicking bed I'll show you in a minute. We've got a few roots shooting over the side there. Uh, the Panama Red from Mum and Dad, the passion fruit, that hopefully will go over the chicken coop. I think I might need to put it into a slightly larger pouch though. It's just living in the um, mulch that Dad threw it in, so it's not, it hasn't really even got any soil in there. And our little powder blue blueberry has decided to throw on a, another lot of flowers. Not many, but you know, not bad for a first year um, harvest, things I almost killed it. So off to the other root pouch garden. Just down under the aquaponics, we have the Chinese amaranth. Thank you very much. This is another beauty that Chris gave me. Um, I'm really hoping that this one sets out a few flowers because a few leaves that I've had with that, I've been really impressed. The strawberries down here, uh, that's a bubble gum from memory, I think it's called. And some of the others are looking greener. Haven't seen any flowers though, so we'll just see how they go. I have noticed a load of the eggplant seedlings coming up everywhere. So I've left a few in there. I might leave one or two go. And I did pop in some um, yellow oxhorn uh, capsicum seedlings, very neglected ones. Hopefully they'll bounce back. And we have a calendula that looks like it's a very tasty plant to eat over here. It's got a bit of bug damage on it. Just over the back of this pouch, what really made me happy this morning was to see that we have some ginger shot. So this is just normal ginger. We have that piece there has shot and that piece there. So pretty chuffed with that. Uh, down in the aquaponics, all things are looking pretty good. The beans are still throwing out new flowers and fruit for us. I harvested the beetroot on the weekend and posted the clip if you haven't seen it. And this cucumber is really going off. Thanks Reuben for the seeds. I did notice some of the earlier female fruit has fallen off without being pollinated. So I'm not too sure if this is a parthenogenic variety, uh, but that uh, little fruit there for sure looks like it's taken. And maybe that little one down below it. The fish are going all right. They won't come up for a feed at the moment though, so no point throwing any pellets in. We'll see if we can spy on them though. There's a couple of the silvers down the bottom there. So we've got a uh, dedicated air stone in these tanks now just to keep these fellas happy. Off out the back. The little Tetragonula Hawkins IBs, they're buzzing away busily. That sounds so tacky, Robert. <laughs> But yeah, they're very busy at the moment. Um, on a warm morning, we can actually um, smell the beehive at the top of the aquaponics. Uh, there's got to be a load of honey in there. It's actually bolted on through that star picket, so I can't lift it up to see how heavy it is. But I would think that it would be um, due for a splitting very soon. Grandma eggplant down here is actually doing really, really well. I'm surprised she's a lot less pest damage than the other plants around the place. And the only thing I've done differently with her is give her some homemade fertilizer um, let's just call it rob water that i've been storing under the house and she's put on a surprising amount of green growth and looks to be fairly pest resistant compared with the other plants down here i have um, some ginger um, this is the chinese keys or some people call it lesser galangal but um, i think they confuse the name this one here, you actually use the fingers, the little bulbous fingers that go down into the ground, not the rhizome itself. Oh, you can use the rhizome. Um, I've used a few in some dishes, but really not enough to get a decent amount of flavor through. So something I'm gonna have to look into a little bit more. Uh, just down here, uh, we've got a couple of mushies. One over there I posted a pic to Instagram on. A couple more freaky looking ones under the barrel there. Uh, this used to be the old chicken coop, by the way, just this area here. Down in the compost pile, I turned the um, old compost cage out um, and we're starting to get a few volunteers. The inevitable uh, cherry tomatoes are coming through and we're also seeing a couple of eggplants and some cucurbits of some fashion. I'd say they're either pumpkin or um, squash 
And I dare say that is a cherry tomato with all the seeds that have exploded to life at once. Um, what has made me happy is seeing these little guys. They are Egyptian spinach. Now I lost all my seeds that I was growing in a punnet, so I have enough of these little guys to transplant out and pop around the place. The coffee tree, our little dwarf coffee tree has flowered. So we've got a few more flowers coming on. Uh, Roscoe got to see some the other day when he was around, dropping off the Owen Knock and picking some stuff up. So those little buds there, hopefully, if I can get the camera to focus, these little things here will hopefully become coffee in the future. Little coffee beans or cherries. Uh, definitely not enough to make a cup of coffee, but something you know we can play around with. We might try um, growing a couple of plants from seed. Um, also too, I've told that the uh, berries are rather tasty. But as you can see, we're getting some nice little bits of growth here. Um, over the weekend, we had a load of rain. So I noticed that this has got water in the base. No mosquito larvae that I can see. Uh, actually, there might be one or two. So as soon as I stop filming here, I'm going to have to um, get someone to help me tip that over um, so we can get the water out of it. Uh, I obviously haven't set up the ginger bed yet. Um, I've just run into a few complications with my backs. I'm basically not supposed to be doing much lifting at the moment. Um, I can tell you Bianca was really impressed to see that I did those aquaponic barrels by myself. Anyway, that's a different story. Yeah, hopefully uh, after I um, get all my little uh, volunteers out of here, I might get into emptying out some gardens and making this up this weekend. So I just have to go to the doctors first, according to Bianca. Uh, the bananas, these are the first suckers that came off the blue java. I'm actually uh, trench composting down in here. So basically all in this area behind the banana and all underneath it, I'm just moving that tray. I'm burying bucketfuls of scraps that we're saving up and letting that break down in the soil. And that banana will eventually, after these beds get removed, be planted out there in a bit of a mound. So this bed here will be the soil I use for part of the ginger bed. This bed here and this one here need to come out. So for the chicken run. Um, and say good day to the Air Force folks. It's done about five laps since I've been filming and I have to keep stopping. So the battery didn't quite make it, sorry about that folks. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed that um, sort of elongated short look at what's going on in the patch at the moment. Um, hopefully I'll do that uh, wicking bed by the end of the weekend and use that soil from those other two beds uh, just to fill it up. And I'll also be getting some perlite to mix in there and be using some of my own compost. So there are a few things on the hop in the patch at the moment. I've just got to take it slow and got to take it a bit easy for the time being. Um, just also too, just something I wanted to quickly let you folks know. Um, the last couple of days, um, literally for the last couple of days, about four or five hours both days, I've been going through the uh, old comments on the YouTube channel, uh, different clips. It looks like I've been missing quite a few. I don't know if it's because when I get multiple comments to a single video, they piggyback each other on the email I get from YouTube and I've unfortunately missed a couple. So I'm going back and catching up with them now. So I'm not being rude if I haven't replied to your comment. I just didn't see them come through. Also too, just quickly, um, if you've come across my email address, in old video comment sections or anything like that other social media around the place please don't use it to get in contact with me because a lot of those accounts I don't go to anymore um, they're either closed down now or I just don't visit um, I did notice one when I was going through the other day to recover an old password some people have sent me a message um, if you want to get in contact with me pop a message under the the clip that you've got a question on or get in touch with me through our Facebook page. You can always leave a little comment on the wall there. Rob's Backyard Farming and Aquaponics, I think it's called. There's a link down below in the description anyway, um, because otherwise I may miss it. Um, the best way is to leave a comment on the clip that you've got the question on. So I will pretty much all leave it there. I do hope you've enjoyed the clip. Uh, if you haven't already, it'd be great if you could hit that little subscribe button down there and you'll be sent notifications whenever I upload further clips to our YouTube channel here. I do hope you're all well and happy, and I will catch you next clip. Hopefully, it'll be a planning ginger or making a ginger wicking bed. Cheers, folks. Have a great one.